Hey, hello YouTube, welcome along to uh, an Xbox 360 pickup video. Um, so I've got a pile of games. You saw my last video, I'd put one up and I had like, 17 games. No, that, that was found a few weeks ago. Um, and obviously I've still got another pile here, but games I've kind of got recently in the last couple of weeks as well. So, how many games have I got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine games. So, uh, a couple of them, uh, a couple of them are brand new actually. Um, four of them are actually brand new. But anyway, let's just get to it. Um, you've probably noticed and I made a comment, well, I put it into my, my comments underneath the last video. Now, I'll, I always record my footage and the games I put up in the corner here to show you guys. Now, I started that years and years ago. Um, but the problem is it takes that long to do that, eh? Um, because I end up putting, a, I only use maybe 30 seconds there clip. But I end up putting a game in and playing it for 5-10 minutes and, and if I've got a big huge pile of games it takes a couple of years to get through that, eh? Um, so my plan is to get these pick up videos, show you the games and then I'm going to try and release gameplay videos of Xbox 360 games since that's what I collect for that's what I enjoy doing so my plan is to try and get the videos gameplay videos made and get them up as separate videos games that maybe um, games that I like maybe games that you've maybe not heard of or what have you so that's the plan anyway so and then it kind of makes me get on with these pick up videos quicker and get them found get them up um, right so King of Fighters 12. Um, I had to look at it there because it's in num <laughs> Roman numerals, so it's an X and a 1 1, so it's 12. King of Fighters. Um, I know it's a, like a Neo Geo game, it goes right back with SNK, Playmore, um, 2.99 it was. And then I'm not, I'm not a fighting fan, I've never played these types of games. I only bought it before the, the collection, and it was cheap, 2.99, so I thought, yep, yeah, that's the price I would pay for. That kind of game. I know people do like these style of games, especially King of Fighters, because I know there's 13 and I think there's maybe even 14 is there. Brand new game. This was actually bought, I'll show you how long ago I bought this a month ago. Because I actually bought this on, when I went to the Last of Us um, demo at my local game store and I put the footage up. Um, and while I was there they had this on offer. If you bought anything else in the shop, you got this for 9 99 and it's Aliens Colonial Marines. I can look at it there. Um, this is brand new. I ended up buying Star Wars mints that were 49 pence. And I had this, plus I had money on my card, so I ended up getting it. Like, virtually for nothing, just about it. Eh? Now I know this isn't um, maybe that great, and I know it was meant to be um, getting made for such a long time, and it was such a disappointment, but. Um, I never followed the story, didn't even know it was coming out, so to me I'm not really bothered. Eh? Plus, because it's a game exclusive, you get gear upgrade boost, a uh, sort of double barrel shotgun, uh, four movie marines, and you get Ripley, Ripley's flamethrower, and additional marine customization. Which is quoted in here. So, brand new game, I've not even played it yet, but new game. Another new game that I bought and I got this from Shop 2. I buy quite a lot for Shop 2, they're good and it's um, Wrestling 12 and it's the Wrestlemania edition I got. It's uh, £7.80 or something or £7.90. I tell you that's a good price because even I see this pre-owned a lot because obviously the WWE 13's out, 14 be coming at the end of the year but 13's out. Um, and 12, my bairns play this all the time, my bairns play them even older ones all the time. My seven year old daughter um, wants to be a diva. Um, so she plays this, but she plays it with the divas. Um, and she's out in the trampoline. I'm pointing you there, like you came on the trampolines in the back again. She's out there doing all the wrestling moves, and um, she usually goes out on my phone um, and puts it on, and gets the Wi Fi, and puts it on YouTube, and puts all the songs on. I've got, I've got the songs on the right pod as well. Um, but Plus this is the WrestleMania, so you get hundreds of extra stuff, so it's well worth it. Um, so you get includes 15 bonus WWE stars, 
which include divas, which should include The Rock, Macho Man, Randy Savage, Mike Foley, Batista, <laughs> plus me, there's hundreds of me, and plus you get different rings and different belts, different championships. Really, really good. Well, these love it, eh? Um, plus all that extra stuff. And that's the, aye, actually, that's a classic edition, which I've mentioned this before. Sometimes it's better getting the classic edition. It used to, they used to be grey years ago, but they've changed it now, so it doesn't look that much different. Except for this wee classic thing, but you get all the extra download stuff. Um, two games I bought of Gumtree. I got these for a good price. You had um, a big pile of games, and I only needed two of them. And um, I can't remind what he was selling the big lot of them for. I can't remind what it was, but I thought he might come back with me and go, a tenner for the two of them, eh? And I was thought, right, I'll pay that, because I've checked on Amazon what the cheapest price was pre-owned. And it was still a good price, five for each. But he came back and he said, um, emailed back, said seven pound. And I went, yep, yeah, bro, I went down and got them. So we've got binary, binary domain. Which again, I don't know nothing about. And, um, not played it yet. Beautiful condition. Um, all complete, obviously. Really good. In condition and Castlevania. Uh, the Lords of Shadow. I played this a wee bit, reminded me of uh, God of War. At the start, anyway, you know, because you're. Um, and I've kind of played, I've no really played a lot of Castlevania games through the years. I kind of know what they are. I've had wee shots of them, um, you know, the 2D side scrolling ones and obviously this is different from that but um but yeah it reminds me of god of war the way they, you're fighting in that but a good place for the two of them i thought a game that i've been after a wee while good wee while obviously i need it at a decent price and it's rayman origins um beautiful platform game beautiful colors beautiful graphics the levels are beautifully designed it's a really, really good platform game. Platformer. Um, got this from Asda's Tenor it was. And I think Tenor is about the right price for it. It's pre-owned. Tenor is probably about the right price for it. And um, you know, I have seen it on... Um, gone for about that anyway. So I picked it up then. Good game. I pl started playing that and I've... Um, I'm roughly one for playing games and then stopping halfway through and playing other games. I'm awfully like... I'm, I'm, hundreds of my games downstairs have... I'm like that, but I did start this game and it goes so far through, eh? But um, I need to go back. Okay, we've got a game here that's. Um, I've been after it for a while, but this game always sells for the £30 mark. Even though it's an older game, always sells for 30 quid mark on the eBay, and even when you see it in game, they had it for nearly 30 quid, £25. Um, so it's one of those kind of. It's no hard to get because you can get it easy from eBay. Eh? But it's one of those kind of ones that are, um, keeps its value. But I got it from Cash United, seven ninety nine it was, and it's the uh, bully. Um, and it comes complete. I needed, and I checked it before I picked it up. It comes complete because obviously it's a Rockstar game. You get the manual, but you also get the poster, which you do with all these other GT games and that. So um, poster on one side and the map on the other side post that and then you get the map and you need to, I mean, know that I need the map to see where I'm going but even got the registration kind of card for Rockstar so that's nice good condition um, I, th I did have, have put it in to see what it's like because I went and done a video years ago because I'd picked up Bully the scholarship edition for the Wii and I've also got the PlayStation 2 version which is called the Candice Candice did it today, whatever it is, eh? the Latin name, but it's Bully. Um, and here's a new school. I've got a video up there comparing the Wii and the PlayStation 2, and it's one of my most watched videos. People still comment on that video, even now. I'll, every now and again, a comment will come up. Um, so, I'm going to do a, a playthrough of this. Not a playthrough, but i put some gameplay up in it. Um, just simply because I'd done that before years ago. Um, and I've always wanted to get the 360 version name. Eh? And like I said, it always keeps its money. That always sells for 30 quid. I can sell that on eBay for 30 quid. I don't know why it's kept its price. 
It's just one of those games that, um, like I said, it's no hard to get because you can get them easy for eBay. But it's one of those kind of harder games because if you need it, it's going to cost you 30 quid. But, like I said, I was lucky and I got it in the wilderness. Brand new game here I got from Shop 2 again. Um, no, I didn't. I've seen this. Um, and it was down to 17 at 9 I was going to buy it then. And it's the um, Super, so it's not Street Fighter X, Street Fighter X Tekken. And it's the Collector's Edition, or Special Edition. Um, and I was going to buy it then, and then I thought, no. And it went down to 9 at 9 and then I bought it. What it comes with is, um, obviously get the game, okay? And then you get extra stuff with the game. Because you get um, 45 gem power-ups. I don't know what they are, but that's what it says. 45 gem power-ups, okay? Um, you also get a comic with it. But look at the size of the comic. Wee tiny comic. Got a code in the back for your add-on stuff. But it comes with a, an arcade um, money box. But I'll show you a wee picture here. Right, that's what it's meant to look like, okay? But um, I'm not going to build it up because I've got it in here and it's um, it's made of plastic. There's no, um, it just all fits together. You've even got wee tiny joy pads. Um, yeah, it comes like this and you just fit it all together, click, click, click. You've got stickers here to put on the side and the front and all that kind of stuff, which I'll not be building up, I'll just be keeping it like this because I'll not be using it but um yeah, we got stickers and that are in the area. Eh? Yeah I'll just keep it like this. Yeah um, which I thought nine out of nine for the special edition you know because I always love I really like the special editions eh and if I had the money you know what I mean if I'd won the European lottery there <laughs> um which was last night as I'm filming this this is a Wednesday, last night was European Lottery, 150 million it was. If I'd won that, I'd be buying every single special edition that came out here. But um, as it is, I tend to buy them in the cheap, but there we go. And also this one, I've done an unboxing of this, I mean I've never showed it, I've never showed it in my last video, and I've never showed it, but I've done an unboxing, and it's the Halo 4 Limited Edition. Um, this was brand new. Twenty four ninety nine. It was a game. It was a wee while ago, but I had trading games. I think trading games. I got really for nothing. Um, and I done it in a box. Really good game. I've not played the um, single player. I did play the multiplayer for for a couple of weeks here, and I was kind of hooked on it. And then I've kind of came away from it. I'm rubbish online. I'm, I am. I'm totally rubbish. Um, but you get um, you get extra maps. So when I, and when I put it in, there was map pack just released, so I downloaded, you get them, I downloaded that, and you get other ones when they come out. There might be, I don't know if there's any due, but when if they're due, I, I can download them. You get that um, Forward Unto Dawn, that live action series thing, so I've not even watched it, that's came out in Blu-ray now, and, and you get up loads of Avatar stuff and all that kind of stuff, and there's stuff in there, so Halo 4. So there we go, there's my Xbox. Um, pickups. That's me kind of up to date now. I haven't got any more to show you. Um, and I can't, it pits me on 320, maybe 330 games. Of course, you know, I'll put the proper total underneath. And um, yeah, so there we go. Thanks for watching, guys. And um, oh, obviously, the news is as I found this new, the. Um, as I'm filming this, you know, you know what I mean. I'm thinking if people watch this in two months' time or three months' time, as I've just filmed this, we know that you know, you know, I'm an Xbox man. I start, I love the Xbox, and I was gutted. I'd done a vlog, and I said I was gutted after the E3 about all the rubbish that the Microsoft were going to do for the Xbox One, and I'd made comments, and I even even said it in the vlog. I couldn't understand why they would do that. I don't, I couldn't understand how you get these intelligent people who are um, sitting in the room and they actually thought all this stuff. That they were going to put into the Xbox One that, that that was just total alienating everybody out there, and I was ready to go for a PlayStation Four, not on day one release. I, I don't buy game uh, consoles on day one release. 
I know when they, when they will get released I'll be itching to get one but I'll not be strong enough to get it, if you know what I mean um, I never buy consoles, in, it's the worst time ever to buy consoles in day one although I understand why people do want it in day one because I get that feeling, oh it's out of the day again but, um, but Microsoft have done the new turn and um, they're saying that they're, they're pre-owned games, you can do whatever you want with them and all this kind of stuff um, which is good news because I'll be going for the Xbox One um, knowing me though, I'll get the Xbox One and I'll end up getting the PlayStation 4 because I want them all and I'm just waiting for games to come out for the Wii U and I'll be getting a Wii U um, but I'm waiting for better games because every time I go into a game and I look at the Wii U selection and there's, there's one or two games there that I would buy and it, that is it I don't. I'm not. I wouldn't be buying Assassin's Creed or Batman or Call of Duty or the types of games for the Wii U. I'm wanting Nintendo games, and there's not enough for it yet for it. Um, but it's great that the Xbox. I'll be going for the Xbox One. That's for sure. When I don't know. I mean, I'll like I said, it'll not be on day one. Will it be six months later, three, four months? Even with the the Xbox C sixty that came out in. Was it November time? And I never bought it till the March time. So I'd waited, you know, a good wee while before I, well, December, January, February, March, three, four, four, five months later. Um, but anyway, that's me last. I better stop blabbering here. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next time. Cheers.